Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am so excited to share a new fragrance from the house of Charles Wong. He, the last perfume that he did that I was able to share with you was called Aurora Par Charles Wong Linderhof M. Morgan. So I believe this is his third fragrance that he's come out with. And this one, you guys, is amazing. So just a little bit of background about him. His aesthetic, it's kind of like the dandy style from, I would say, you know, the mid 1700s to maybe like the mid 1800s or so. He's really into history and when he creates perfumes, he creates them with a, like a historical image or place as a reference. And this perfume, was created with that reference being. So for my other history lovers out there, you would probably remember that I believe it was in 2010 that they found this apartment from the 1940s in Paris that had basically been closed up since I want to say 1942. And when they went in, when they actually found it and went in, it was basically frozen in time. Um, all of her belongings were still there. There was a painting of her done by a really famous artist. There were, um, th there was like a full-size stuffed ostrich in her apartment. Um, all of her things, like this gorgeous vanity and all of her things were still on her vanity. Um, it was basically an apartment frozen in time. When they started researching who this apartment belonged to, the story was incredible. And not only that, she was a French courtesan. It was the apartment of this really well-to-do French courtesan. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the perfume and then we'll talk a little bit more about who Madame de Florian was and what her what was in her apartment. I'm gonna pop up a bunch, a bunch of pictures for you guys um, because it was documented really, really well. They took a lot of pictures when they went in. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. This is what the beautiful box looks like. And there was only one retailer here in the States that carried his fragrances. Yeah, I'm gonna link his email address down below. Um, I do believe he told me that if you're interested in picking up a bottle of this, um, to just contact him directly. And I can tell you from experience when he ships out, his shipments are impeccable and they are lightning fast. So if you do, it will come. I do believe it will come from Hong Kong. Um, but again, rest assured that you will have your bottle of perfume within days. I think from the time he, sh he sent me an email saying that he shipped it until the time I got it was maybe four days and it came from Hong Kong. So anyways, you lift this up and his perfumes are so stunning, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. And you can kind of get an idea of what his aesthetic is. So actually I will link, he's got social media pages, I believe Instagram. I'll link all of his social media down below in case you are interested in picking up a bottle. You can email him or you can message him directly. So this is, I'm gonna quote him directly. He says, quote, this fragrance is an imagination that I am able to go inside that mysterious apartment to feel the enigmatic and bygone glamour of this once was famous French courtesan's premises and her flamboyant and somehow notorious lifestyle. My visit in year 2015 is only on, he says GF of the building, I think basically the outside of the building, um, as the apartment is not open for public. Also, I believe all property inside has been removed for auction since it reopened its door in the year 2010. So yes, I will link his Facebook as well as his Instagram. Um, his Facebook, his Instagram, and his Pinterest page, I will link below. I would probably contact him on Instagram or Facebook, I think either one. The sprayer on this is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see. This one is beautiful. His fragrances always have the most beautiful freshness to them. They can be worn all year round. I mean, they're just perfect for any time of day all year round. I think you could wear this one in the heat, in the cold. It would work all four seasons. It's just beautiful. So the notes on this one are, uh, top notes are laurels, bergamot, and, and absinthe. Middle notes are blackcurrant, melon, saffron, cardamom, and pepper. Base notes are amber, incense, and vetiver. 
So just a ton of freshness in this one with the melon and the bergamot. You've got pepper that always is very uplifting in a fragrance. There is saffron, but the saffron is not overwhelming. You do get the melon. It's a beautiful melon note without, again, without overwhelming the entire fragrance. The amber and the incense are, they're light. It's not a heavy amber or a heavy incense. They definitely start to deepen up as it dries down, but the vetiver keeps everything really light as well. I love vetiver in a fragrance. Vetiver in the base of a fragrance is perfect for keeping it, everything really light and uplifted. It's absolutely stunning. I can't imagine anybody not liking this. For me, this is super easy to reach for, easy to wear. It still smells special. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. It definitely does smell special. His bottles are always so beautiful the two velvet ribbons and the wax seal. I do have some samples that I will be sending out. Um, this, this is the little card that came with the perfume. And I am just going to read to you what it says on the inside. It says, inspired by the true story of the street Parisian apartment owned by Madame Martha de Florian, a glamorous socialite. And I'm going to butcher this because I'm really bad at French. Uh, Demi Mondaine during the Belle Epoque, I hope I said that right, the Belle Epoque period, being abandoned for more than half a century, Aurora L'Apartment de Madame de Florian takes an opposite approach to let you experience the nostalgic Parisian elegance in a different way. Sumptuous, dark, ethereal, and phantomic, it is an enigmatic combination of malicious beauty, romance, and poignant with a dose of silent jeopardy and fatal elegance. So Madame de Florian was a courtesan. She had many lovers. Um, she was very wealthy because she was well taken care of by these men. She was actually born in Paris. She lived in this apartment, which it was near the Pigalle red light district, which is fitting, but it's a, that's a beautiful area. If you've ever been to Paris, you know that that is a stunning area and I think it's very very expensive now. It's the area where the Moulin Rouge is that like the actual Moulin Rouge is and I believe that's where they filmed Moulin Rouge. So she was basically a socialite and she spent her time, well she was a courtesan, she was a courtesan and a socialite and she spent her time um, going to parties and events and it sounds like nobody knows exactly where the apartment is. Um, I don't think that they've ever released the exact location of the apartment, but she actually passed away in 1939 and then the apartment passed on to her family. So basically what happened was World War II broke out, the Nazis invaded uh, Paris, and when that happened, they fled and they left the apartment. The apartment was just left in the state that it had been. I mean, they basically just left and everything was left frozen in time from 1942 until 2010. And again, I'm gonna include a lot of pictures because it's really, really interesting. She had some very interesting things. It was an absolutely stunning apartment. She had had her painting done by a very famous painter, which again, I will include a picture of. Just a really, really neat story. And the fact that this gorgeous perfume is inspired by the apartment and this woman and her fascinating life is right up my alley. Having a degree in history is just my favorite thing. But anyways, you guys, yeah, I'm going to quit going on and on because I could, I could sit here for an hour and talk about this apartment and this perfume. It's a beautiful perfume. I think that it would appeal to a wide range of people. I think many people would like this. I, it's fresh. It's clean smelling. It's slightly sweet. It's very, very unique smelling. I could see this being worn any time of year. Um, I will test this thoroughly this week and let you know how it performs. That's the only thing I have tested on my skin. It's gorgeous on skin, but I haven't given it a good full wear test yet. I wanted to go ahead and get this review up before the holidays, just in case any of you would like to get this you know, maybe as a gift to yourself for Christmas or a gift for a family member for Christmas. I wanted to give you guys plenty of time to be able to contact him and get your hands on it if you would like to. So anyways, I will update you in my upcoming What I Wore Last Week video and let you know exactly how it performs. His other perfume performs really, really well though, so I have a feeling this one will be the same. It's beautiful, very classy smelling, just a really beautiful 
perfume. So anyways, that is the new one from Aurora Par Charles Wong called L'Apartment de Madame de Florian. Anyways, you guys, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.